Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. And in this video, we're gonna be reviewing something different. This is a, a really cool scantle that I wanna check out. Thank you so much for sending me this scantle. We're gonna open this up right now and check what's inside. And then we're gonna test it out on this 2002 BMW 525i. Amazing old school machine. If you love E39s, subscribe to my channel and like this video and let's get started. We're gonna pick that up in a little bit. Let's see, that's cool. Oh, look at that. VD30 Pro code reader. Okay, well, that's cool. Receipt. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. We got manual for it. Obviously, I recommend, uh, sorry, <laughs> I recommend reading this manual. <laughs> I recommend reading this manual, but... One eternity later. Thank you so much. Airplane? Alright, cool. So, this manual is really cool. I totally recommend reading it, you know. Don't be like uh, us idiots that don't read it. They read it only if something goes wrong. So now we're gonna go ahead and check this scan tool out actually. So it comes with this little USB uh, cable and this is the actual scan tool right over here. Oh, pretty neat A little scan tool. I mean, if you're going on a road trip, it's definitely handy. So we're gonna see what it has as soon as we plug this into the car. All right, so here's the scan tool. And the first thing you need to do, obviously don't pay attention to this E39. We have some mismatched interior panels that will get taken care of. But right now we're gonna go ahead and plug this scan tool into the OBD2 port of this amazing machine. So on this car, we have the OBD port right here. It even shows you. I'm gonna open this up right there. And this only goes one way. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in all right so before we do anything else we're going to turn the ignition on all right guys so here's our obd2 uh, scan tool and uh, code reader but this one just so you guys know this one only reads the check engine light but still it's really really handy if, especially if you're going on a road trip or something like that so i'm going to show you really quick what it has or what it does i'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on all right, so the key is on. Now we're gonna go to OBD2. And then you can do a lot of things here. Um, also this beeping, whenever you press the button and it's beeping, you can actually turn it off in the settings. Um, but right now we're gonna keep it as is. So read DTCs, it will take some time. Uh, this car uh, currently doesn't have any check engine light. Uh, yeah, because we fixed all that. So. I mean, we can even look at it. This vehicle has no faults. Uh, all right. So you can do a lot of things. You can clear codes, which is the next thing right there. Um, you can look at uh, live data, which we're gonna do here shortly. Live data is the biggest thing. Um, so we're gonna view all items and actually has quite a few data pids. One of them that's really important is the short-term fuel trim and long-term fuel trim, which is really important diagnosing engine performance issues. So it has long-term fuel trim right there. The engine's not running, obviously, so it's not showing anything, but we're about to start it up. All right, car's running right now. And let's see. So it's showing our engine RPMs. Really, really cool. Vehicle speed. We're gonna go back to short-term fuel trim. All right, at the moment it's showing zeros. Engine coolant temp, 204 Fahrenheit, but you can actually, if you go to the settings, you can switch it to Celsius. You can switch a lot of dimensions back to, you know, or the units of measure back to whichever ones you want. Uh, fuel system, uh, open loop. I don't know why it's showing it. Oh, the car is not, well, it's fully warmed up, but it should switch back to closed loop here shortly. And here you go, we have short-term fuel trim. It's jumping minus, it's from zero to minus three, minus 5%. Uh, so that's totally normal. 
Okay, so we're gonna increase the RPMs a little bit. And RPMs go up and everything changes here. Another thing really important is the uh, O2 sensor data, which I'm really interested in. Intake air temperature, 140. Uh, let's see here, O2 sensor, bank one sensor two and bank one sensor one right there. So this one's switching back and forth between 0.2 and it goes to like 0 0.69, whatever. So that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, this car is running really, really good. It's nice. So yeah, so that's the live data right here, guys. Another really cool thing about this uh, live data is you can actually graph the, these items. So you can go to view graphic items. Uh, so it's loading right now. And then you can select whichever one you want. So for example, short term field trim. So you can select that. And then, uh, let's see, I believe you go, you click this button, and then this is what it's gonna do. It's gonna actually graph it, it's so nice. I really, really like this thing. Actually, I haven't seen many tools like this that would actually have a graph, graphing meter like this. That's, that's really, really cool. Me gusta. Just like I love old school Beamers and Benzes, I like this one a lot too. That's impressive. Okay, now after live data, uh, if you have, let's say, a check engine light that comes on, you can view the freeze frame data right now. Let's see, I don't think it's gonna show it. It doesn't show the freeze frame data because we don't have any check engine light that popped up that caused the freeze frame to uh, show up here. Uh, vehicle info, you can go in here. Let's see what it shows here. Vehicle info, calibration, some things. Okay, that's not important. O2 sensor, what is this? PID. Think one sensor one, okay. I reached a lean sensor. So you can just go to like individual O2 sensor and see what it's reading. This car only has one bank, so I will only have two O2 sensors. Yeah, a lot of different cool things about this uh, scan tool. Another thing that you can do is you can I get uh, you can do the battery test. Right now the battery is at 12.3 volts. And that's the only test that it's giving you. And then also DTC lookup. So you can actually look up the DTC. So P0 300, let's see if it's gonna show anything. Look at that, it's actually gonna show. This is without the Wi-Fi also, so that's really, really cool i didn't expect it. i thought it would need my wi-fi or data to be able to do it and you can even print this review settings see you can change the language it has different language deutsch uh russian italian polish that's really cool that's actually a lot of languages for just this little scan tool that's crazy and then it's beep right here it's on right now you can shut it off if you want yeah, cool, neat little scan tool. I really, really love it. Amazing machine. Don't forget to love and save your old school Beamers and Benzes and other old school cars. That's how it is here at Vito's Garage. Right, Vlad? Yeah, for real, bro. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out all the links in the description box uh, to this amazing tool. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care and don't forget to save and love old school cars. And good luck with your diagnostics. Ooh.